to Torah Ted. The critical reading section of the SAT, where fun goes to die. Perhaps I could interest you in a passage about the Bajau Sea Nomads, or the use of yawning to measure sleepiness, <sighs> or my personal favorite, Navajo maze art. So, how do you stay focused on these passages so you can get into college and never think about Navajo maze art again? I've got an awesome strategy that will help you focus on what's important in the passages. You'll be able to read faster and answer the questions more efficiently and accurately. I call it pre-highlighting, and it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Here's what you do. As soon as you get to a long reading passage, skip ahead to the questions. Don't read them, just scan them for line numbers. As quickly as you can, you're going to mark those spots in the passage. For example, if a question mentions lines one through nine, put a quick bracket around the left side of lines one through nine. If a question mentions a specific word or phrase in a certain line, go to that line and mark that word or phrase. Once you're done, your pre-highlighted passage will look something like this. There are several huge advantages to pre-highlighting. For starters, you'll know what's important the first time you read the passage. Not only that, you'll know what's not important. Take a look at this paragraph. Notice, no pre-highlighting. Well, guess what? There are no questions about anything in that paragraph. So if you lose focus while reading it, don't worry about it. The second advantage is that when you read the pre-highlighted stuff, your brain will begin to work on it right away. After you've practiced this for a while, you might even be able to predict what kind of question they're going to ask you about something that's pre-highlighted. Pre-highlighting improves focus and accuracy. So try it out.